Now the question is, what is the relationship between business intelligence and data warehouse? So before understanding the relationship between BI and data warehouse, you have to first understand what is a data warehouse. A data warehouse is something where you have a lot of unstructured data and after putting some of the formatting tools like uh, filters and customization, when you create data and make it meaningful, more comprehensive, that job is what we call a data warehouse, where we are creating our data in a meaningful way. Now how this data warehouse basically works is, data warehouse works on one particular principle which is called the ETL process. ETL stands for extract, transform and load. See you have to understand this ETL process first. Then easily you will be able to understand how data warehouse works. So let's start with the first point that is E for extract. So extract is when you connect your data with your data warehouse, the data warehouse extracts the actual data from your source data. Once you get the data in data warehouse, the second point is to apply and convert or transform this data by applying different filter tools or formatting tools or something like that to get meaningful information from this data. So that is the second part that is transform. So extract your data and transform it. Once your data is well formatted or in a meaningful format, then you can load this in your server or maybe you can serve this file in front of your teams. So that is the last point which is called load. So this Power BI tool works on this ETL process. So the first thing to understand is how do I connect my data with the source? Then we apply some transformation and the last part is that once we are done with transforming our data, then we can easily load it on the server for the users to easily use this information or data. So that is how data warehouse works using the ETL process. So this is the actual relationship between the BI and data warehouse. All the business intelligence tools are basically using the concept of this ETL process or in other words, the data warehouse process and the same principle is used by Power BI. So this is the list of business intelligence tools available in the market right now. And you can see that Microsoft Power BI is on the top. Now let me tell you how I will be taking you through this course. So you just assume that you are part of a managing team where you are handling a lot of data and as you can see in this example, I have different workbooks. Now my job is I need answers for which I need to create reports on the basis of these data. For example, I have to answer what are the total orders by category, which are the top 5 products by orders, which are the top 5 products by profit, what is the monthly return and so on. So these are the lists we have to create on the basis of this raw data. This is my job. I have to answer them. I am not going to stop myself here. I have to create some of these reports to do a comparison between the current month order versus the target orders. We call it KPI. So we have to find answers to these questions through these raw files. So basically we have to find answers to all these questions through the raw data. So the agenda is can I answer all these questions on the basis of these raw files? The answer is yes, we can and that is the agenda of this course. You will have access to this data in those relevant sections of this course so that you can practice and work on that and learn how to apply the BI tools on this raw data. And you will understand how easy it is to answer these questions.